Hello friends, welcome. Let us take the case of a game with unique saddle point. And we are going to find answers of all the 7 or 8 items which we have briefly discussed in the previous lecture. First of all, let us determine the maximum value and the minimax value. First, prepare a column that is of row minimum. In this column, we will write the minimum value from each row. That means if player A selects strategy A1, these are his payoffs and out of which we are going to select the minimum. In A1, minimum is minus 5. In A2, the minimum is 4. And in A3, the minimum is minus 5. These are the minimum of row. That means these are the minimum payoffs if player A selects either strategy A1 or A2 or A3. Now out of these selected minimum values of each row, select the maximum out of these three. Maximum. This is known as maxi min. Maximum of minimum. This is the short form of maximum of minimum. Maximum. Cover the number with circular node. Now, the next is column maximum. Find out the maximum value from each column. That means if B selects strategy B1, what is his maximum possible payoff? And in this way, we have to find the maximum values from all the columns. That means all the strategies available to the competitor or player B. In first column, it is 5. In second column, also it is 5. In third column, it is 4. And in the fourth column, it is 10. These are the maximum value selected out of each column. Now find out or select the minimum value out of this maximum. Since this is the value or this is the minimum value out of all maximums. Select this one. Maximum values of each column out of which the minimum is selected. That's why it is called minimax value. Minimum of the maximum. Cover the value by a square node. So now we have two answers. One is maximum value equals to 4. Number 2, minimax value is also 4. That means the value of the game is also 4. If minimax and maximum values are equal, the same value becomes the value of the game. So the third answer is value of game equals to V is 4. Now what about the geographical location? If the minimax value and maximum value are the same and situated at the same location, that location, that point is known as saddle point. Since the maximum value is 4, minimax value is 4 and in the payoff matrix that 4 is situated at only one place, this is called the game with unique the game with a unique or single saddle point. In this game, the saddle point is situated at A to B3. A to B3. That means for player A, the saddle point lies in strategy A2 and for player B, the saddle point lies at strategy B3. 
That's why this A to B3 point is called the saddle point. And the strategies at saddle point. In the case of a game with unique saddle point, the strategies at the saddle point are also become the optimal strategies for the respective players. So, the fifth point, optimal strategies. So what is optimal strategy for A? For A it is A2 because saddle point lies in strategy A2. Similarly for player B, the saddle point lies at strategy B3. So B3 is the optimal strategy for player B. Another question, is the game fair? Is the game fair? Now, when can a game be called a fair game? If minimax, minimax value, maximum value and the value of game all are equal to zero, then only we can say that the game is fair. In this case, minimax value is not zero, maximum value is not zero and hence the value of game is also not zero. So, this game is not fair. Because maximum value minimax value and value of game are not zero. That's why this game cannot be called a fair game. And the last question we ask ourselves is, is this game strictly determinable? Is the game strictly determinable? A game can be said to be strictly determinable if maximum value equals to minimax value equals to value of game. In this case, minimax value equals to maximum value equals to value of game. All are four, so the game can be said strictly determinable. So these are the basic points which we should study in case of a two person zero sum game. This was the case of a unique saddle point. Thank you very much.